Oh my goodness, it has finally happened. I have been looking for this since Ruby Dev told me the power was added. It is the Goat Force trait. Ladies and gentlemen, it is here. On dash, trigger an ancestral goat to charge at the nearest enemy dealing 478 to 1530 striking body damage and dealing a guaranteed ruthless hit. That sounds wonderful. Hey, hi, hello everybody and welcome back to the Goat Force Gaming channel where we play the roguelikes and the roguelites. Folks, I am happy to be back with more tiny rogues. We have been jumping in and enjoying the biggest content update the game has ever seen. This is the Between Heaven and Hell update. And if you were with us last time, we put together an awesome gunslinger run. And we were able to take out the Guardian of the Shadow Plains. This is a new area that opens up after a successful battle with good old Lord Death. And because we've done that, we were able to go back and complete one of the challenges by encountering that guardian again with the wizard. And by doing so, we were able to unlock this new character that we're playing as now. Folks, this is the Necromancer class, and it is one of many new classes that have been added via this update. Spell Echo, on the tally of five attacks with a magic weapon, repeat the attack. That wouldn't be bad. Booze buff effects are permanent and have a 100% increased effect. Going over your tipsiness limit removes the next oldest booze effect. That's very interesting. Grants plus 10 power per soul heart. Grants you an aura that inflicts burn and debuffs enemies to take fire damage from you and your companions. I do like the auras. We've had some really good luck with the auras. so. I'm gonna go with that. So this is a really interesting class where we can have multiple companions going at once based on the companion carry weight. So these are 0.3 a piece and I can carry one weight, one unit of weight for companions right now so our goal today holy cow did that spider queen go down fast in the first phase our goal today is going to be to build just a heck of a squad of skellies and whatever other nasty things we can convince to join us in our journey you know like a t-bone steak which is an epic companion, summons a tiger cub companion. Tiger cubs attack two times per second, dealing 135 to 279 slashing melee damage. Each tiger cub grants plus 20% melee critical hit chance. It's gonna weigh one. So, here's what this means. We can put this dude out there, and we're going to, but then we're gonna lose these guys, but, there are plenty of traits that we can pick up along the way that might allow us to have additional companions. And that is how we are going to look to build things out today. Now, look, I can never guarantee the success of said build that I am trying to go after, but we gotta dream big because it's free. Right? It's free to do so, so we've got to do it. All right, contains uncommon weapons or locked chest that contains a magic weapon. I am leaning towards the chest, actually. Feeling like this is going to produce something good. 
Let's hope for the best, because I've only got the one key. All right, what do we got here? Kugel Blitz Wand. Attacks per second, 1.03. Weapon range far, I like that. Primary attack deals 11 and 914 lightning damage. Hey, I am up for giving it a try. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Okay, so the other thing is... Each of these character classes typically has a main passive trait, right? The Necromancer has one called Soul Reaper, and it's a passive trait where you and your companions deal 1.5% increased damage per soul that you have. So that's going to be the other thing that we're going to try to do, is we're going to try to build up all kinds of soul numbers along the way. Allows you to choose between granting you a key, a bomb, or five gold. Well, that's interesting because right now we need a key. Perfect. Upgrade weapons and repair armor or drops loot when shattered. I think we're going to go loot. I like this Kugel Blitz weapon. This is looking okay so far. All right, what do we got here? Grants three stacks of intelligence growth on consumption. That sounds wonderful. And grants three stacks of intelligence growth. All right. We're going to just go ahead and fire all of that off. Right meow. Drunk with power, right? Hey, speaking of firing things off, have you heard about these giveaways we're doing? This is another one of those Rated G videos. You might have heard of those Rated G videos on the Goat Force Gaming channel. Thing is, we gave away over a hundred video games in 2023. And we're ending things with a bang. And so, we're gonna give away, oh my goodness, I can't get over how fast these guys are going down. This is great. Um, we're going to give away 15 copies of Tiny Rogues, so this video is rated G, of course, for giveaway. All right, let's see what we got here. What are the options? Flare Mantle. It's a set. Body Armor grants 20% increased burn tick speed. I don't think we've got anything right now that does burn damage. On a tune, we'll ask you a question and reward you for answering like Tyler would. On a tunes after asking a question. I don't know what any of that means. I think Tyler might be a reference to another YouTuber that I happen to like, but I'm not 100% sure. Grants 10% increased primary attack damage. Well... Look, if I had to pick one right now, I would probably go with the Lantern. Right? And I think that we are going to skip this Law Shop. This is an additional set of shops that open up. And if you recall when we got to the end section of the game where they do a measure of your worthiness to enter that final room. Uh, you can build up that stat by making purchases in that shop. Holy Bolt Wand, primary attack deals 309 to 355 radiant damage. Or Freezing Scepter. You know, truth be told, I think I like what we've got a lot better. So, I will grab one of these, but it's really just going to be to sell to the pawn shop at some point. Let's see what we got in here. Attempt to brew a potion. Sure, why not? Put the Mandrake Root in the cauldron. Sure. Oh, put the spider eye in the cauldron. Uh, yes. Put the bat wing in the cauldron. No, we're going to skip the bat wing. Okay, what do we get? You don't have the ingredients to brew another potion. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. 
Did something... Okay, what? It didn't do anything? All right, well, you know what? We must have made crap. That's what we made. Well, we'll try again next time, right? Some of these rooms are riddles, turns out. So, over the next uh, day or two, we're going to be giving away a bunch of copies of Tiny Rogues to celebrate all the fun we had. Oh my goodness, it has finally happened. I have been looking for this since Ruby Dev told me the power was added. It is the Goat Force trait. Ladies and gentlemen, it is here. On dash, trigger an ancestral goat to charge at the nearest enemy dealing 478 to 1530 striking body damage and dealing a guaranteed ruthless hit. That sounds wonderful. We are doing it. Oh my goodness. That is so exciting. Okay. So, to get in on the giveaway, be subscribed, leave a comment, and I will pick several of you to win a copy of Tiny Rogues and get in here and enjoy it. And maybe you too will find the Goat Force power-up. What a time. You know, this is a really cool developer. That's all I'm going to say. All right, we don't have a pair of gloves yet. We've got four charm slots here, but I'm kind of leaning towards gloves because some of those can really be a game changer, especially if we're able to pop a legendary. Let's see what we get here. Not as foolish as expected. Oh my goodness. The Goat Force trait is upon us. Alright, what do we got here? Ooh. Grants 50% increased effective fire ailment status effects. Well, you know, we do happen to have a circle of fire happening, don't we? Disable your offhand, but your weapon is considered a two-handed weapon. Um... You know, let's see here. I suppose that we could go with this. Right? Let's pop that over there. I know we lose the heart. But I think that's an okay trade to make at this point. Lock chest that contains a weapon. You know, I'm pretty happy with the weapon that we have right now, so we'll go gold. You know, and I love how the goat homes in in the exact direction that it needs to. I mean, who's shocked that it's an epic trait, really? That is the coolest thing. You know, I knew if I played long enough, it would show up. And truth be told, I wasn't even sure what it did. I, I knew it had been added. But I had never come across it myself. And in fact, uh, I do recall hearing from some of you saying, you know, I've I've gotten the Goat Force trait before, and, you know, it made me smile when I popped it. And that's uh, really cool. Really, really cool to see. Thank you to the dev for putting that in. Totally made my day here. All right, so let's pawn the freezing scepter like we talked about doing. Yeah, see, he's not even that interested in it. We, we could go ahead and upgrade the 
Kugel at this point. I mean, I'm pretty into it. All right. Thank you for reinforcing. Why don't we reinforce one more time? I think we're going to stick with it for the long run here. All right. And I think we're ready to rip. Yeah, this thing's out there tearing it up. Drops loot when shattered or an event. Yeah, let's go with the event. Sometimes you get something really good. Hey, want to play a game for the low price of five gold? You can win some superb trash that I've collected. Yeah, let's do it. Yeehaw, let's play. Hee hee. Oh, no. Okay. All right. All right. So far, so good. We're going to go here. All right. Want to go double or nothing? Lucky you. Let's see. Here, take this. Bubble wand plus two. Trash minus one to all scalings. Primary attack deals 296 to 411 cold damage. Um, well, that's, that's great. I don't want to play again. Thank you, though. That's uh, very nice of you to offer. Um... You know, I, I already really like the accessory, so I guess if I've got to make a demand, let's go with a random companion, buddy, and then let's hope for the trait to get additional companions, because I know that is a thing that can happen. We just have to hope that it pops, is all. Oh, it's the farting rat. Persistent flea, you are not strong. You will drown in toxic filth. Well, you will drown in lightning damage. How do you feel about that? All right, let's grab those souls. Now, we are at 60, and again, we're getting 1.5% increased damage per soul. Uncommon companion. Summons a slime companion. Slimes attack one times per second. They're going to inflict sticky goo. Each slime grants 5% increased damage. I, I do like that. Each horse grants 20% increased movement speed. Hawk whistle. Okay, each hawk grants 15% increased range. Well, if we get to the point where we're going to be able to have additional companions, I would like it to be a jar of goo. All right. Bartering Potion is a potion buff that adds plus three gold to resell value of items. Okay, well, shame on me. Uh, do we want to go to the law shop at this point? No, I think we're just going to go to the next floor. Not necessarily focusing on getting into that additional room. I just kind of wanted to have a fun run with the Necromancer. Lock chest that contains equipment. Let's go for it. Still have an open equipment slot, don't we? I think we do. Oh yeah, we've got several, turns out. There's something good here. Damaging hits that deal cold damage grant swiftness. Well, you know, I don't think we have anything that does uh, cold damage. We do have that, but I like the current wand too much. We'll go ahead and put them on, but they're definitely not going to be a mainstay. And we've got another passive trait coming up because we're going to level up here. Come on, something for additional companions. All right, grants 100% increased stats granted by mana. Your cursed hits inflict hex. Hex is a status effect that doubles the effect of vulnerability for fragility, and instability. Your equip load capacity is halved, but you gain plus 100% crushing hit chance. Interesting. Well, grants 100% increased stats granted by mana to mana draining weapons. I think this is going to be the best one for us. Um... If I had something to re-roll this, I would, but sadly, we do not. So I'm going to go with Insight. 
And we're just going to keep building up and looking for ways to add companions. Lock chest that contains multiple potions or a key. We have zero keys right now, so we're going to go that way. In the grand scheme of things, there is nothing to be too concerned about at this point. There's still a lot of game left to be played. Poisoned Fidget Glaive. Interesting. Alright, poison damage. I don't know. I really like what I've got right now. Have I mentioned that? We will buy a bomb. And I guess right now we'll go with the gold because we don't have any keys. All right. Speaking of not having any keys. And let's go grab an intelligence. Reward choices are all companion summon items. Boy, oh boy. Reward choice include at least one set item. I know we do have that, uh, or do we not? I guess we don't, we don't have a set item yet. Um, I'm gonna go this route. I, I feel like we need just some additional equipment in general right now. All right. Oh, I thought I had that blocked. I was hoping we could take him down in that first joust, but we, we can get him now. There we go. All right, 10 more souls, that's great. Okay, what do we got here? Grants 50% increased weapon damage, but reduces attack speed. Yeah. Protects you from getting cursed. Or grants 25% increased mana regeneration. And it's a two set. So if we get the Magus Amulet, we'll get 100% increased magic find, which improves the odds of finding higher rarity items and it improves the odds of completing a set bonus. Um, well, we don't have a cap yet. So, I think we will go with the Magus Cap. All right, let's do it. Downward and onward, right? I got that additional dexterity because I opened up an option in the meta progression where when you get to a certain floor, it looks at your lowest stat and it gives you plus one. Very nice, right? We're gonna go gold. All right. Lock chest that contains a weapon or a shrine that grants a random blessing. Let's get the blessing. Endeavor Blessing is a shrine status effect that adds 25% to not very effective multiplier and lasts one floor. Okay, sold. What does this one do? Barter, oh, right, 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 for the pawn shop. Ah, okay. So let's fire off that bartering potion. 
And now, let's see what we can get. Yeah, we'll take nine. Sounds good to me. What else do we got here? That's the jar of goo. We don't want to let go of that. Or the T-bone steak. We could let go of one of these, though. Um, so this is a mage companion. That's the warrior. That's the archer. If I had to let go of one, it'd be that one. Yeah, we'll take eight. Okay. Let's go ahead and go to the shop. I was hoping there was going to be food in here. Grants shellfish surge on consumption. It grants 5% critical hit chance. Okay. Oh, it only lasts one room. Interesting. Grants Ocean's Bounty on Consumption. Buff that grants 10% increased damage, 5% increased attack speed, so that's a, another one that only lasts one room. Okay, summons a Jellyfish Companion. I mean, I could buy it just in case we get the opportunity for additional companions. That's what I'm hoping for. All right. This is plus three. Let's go with the random resin. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and fire that off right now, quite literally. Sit and stay, have a drink. Grants one key. You know, we could go and see what's on offer here. Now, I think what I want to do is get a stack of something going. 10% increased damage from beer. It's one stick of tipsiness per stack. Okay, so let's do that. And I think we're good to go at this point. Let's grab some intel. We are slowly edging closer to another level up. Um, really do need the gloves, and I wonder if this will net us something nice here. Wow, that guy went down fast. I mean, water and electricity, right? All right, guy, you gotta you gotta show up now, so we can kill you. Suck goat. <laughs> now you know I had to say it at some point. We we're waiting for it. Okay, I see an epic. Let's see, spirit wraps damaging hits that deal body damage grant key boost. It's a buff that grants forty percent increased attack speed. Oh. Okay, damaging hits. Well, gosh. I mean, that sounds pretty good, doesn't it? That's pretty good, too. Each point of intelligence additionally grants plus one power. Um, I can't see why we wouldn't go with this. So we're going to get really good attack speed out of that. All right, we're gonna go to the next floor. We're skipping the law shop thing this time. Just trying to have a successful run at this point. The volcano. Okay. On dash, mark the nearest and Oh, the curse took that away before I even saw it. On dash, mark the nearest enemy with Ascetic's Mark. Ascetic's Mark is a mark that guarantees a crushing hit and grants Ascetic's Reward when triggered. Ascetic's Reward is a mark reward buff that adds plus 50% to minimum damage roll and lasts 8 seconds. 
your equip load capacity is halved, but you gain plus 100% crushing hit chance. Well, let's do this. Now the goat trait, what kind of damage does that do? So it's striking body damage and it gives that ruthless hit. Okay, all right. So let's go with the golden chest. So our dash has just got a little bit more dashy, turns out. Ah, the curse is messing with our rewards a little bit. I'm a little concerned about having only two hearts. Uh, grants one to two bottles of booze or a melee weapon. I guess we'll go with the booze. Okay. 25% critical hit multiplier. Perfect. Let's do it. Drops loot when shattered. Got four bombs, we can shatter it. Oh man. Taking the hits. All right, gold pine resin, we'll fire that off. It's not gonna make a difference because we already do the lightning damage on our weapon. And as far as I know, that doesn't stack, although I don't know for sure. Um, you know what, we will go ahead and get a quick little heal in here. All right, and is this already enchanted? As far as I know, it is not. Hello, darling, want me to enchant your weapon? Yeah, why don't we do it? Ooh, legendary, okay. All right, let's see what we got here. What did that do? Legendary. 25% increased damage. Beautiful. All right. I think we can call that worth it. Let's go with the key. Okay, so, you know, this is where we've got that pair of boots that I don't think is actually doing anything for us. So... Uh, we're gonna go guaranteed boots this time. Oh boy. It's getting a little bit bullet helly out here. Your kind should bow before my greatness. I am done with your insolence. I'm done with yours. See, big talker. Couldn't put up when it came down to it. We're going to go ahead and take a sip out of our vial. Grants plus 5% lucky hit chance. So currently we're at zero, and that helps roll for critical hits, if I understand it right. Rare boots that are going to give an armor. What do we have currently? Oh, yeah, it's the boots that we don't really love. Grants plus 45 to 60 cold damage. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna go ahead and grab those boots. We'll go ahead and throw them on. And at the same time, while I'm looking around in here, I'm just thinking about the companion that we have on versus the other ones. Yeah, I think this is still the way to go. All right, let's get after it. But you know what? I only think that's the way to go. So this guy weighs 0.5. What if we put the jellyfish on? This one weighs one. We'll go jellyfish and We'll go with the Skeleton Archer, and I, I just want to see what we're looking like here. You 
You know, that might be the way to roll for a little bit. Ooh, 15 to 20 souls. I mean, that is substantially additional damage, right? Wow, ooh wee wah. Fully refills hearts and flasks. Well, that would be good for the flask situation. Let's do that. I know, suck the projectiles back in. I don't want to get hit by them. Let's refill that. Locked chest that contains a set item, or we could sell weapons and equipment. Yes. All right, we're gonna go ahead and sell the ice skates. Yeah, we'll take 10, that sounds pretty good. We have anything else here? Oh, I didn't, I thought we drank the beer right away. Okay. Um, yeah, I think that's good for now. Smell you later. Okay. Upgrade weapons and repair armor. You know, sometimes you can upgrade the weapon to level four, uh, but it's only occasionally that that guy shows up. Lock chest that contains multiple potions or a shop. We've got 39 gold. Let's see what they're selling. Hey, all right. I like, I like when food's in the shop here. Uh, what do we got? Someone's a bat companion. Oh, I would love to, believe me. All right, so that would be an offhand. Yeah, I don't want to lose that. Uh, we'll go for the intelligence and the level up. All right, wonderful. Okay. And we didn't lose any, so that's pretty great. You and your companions gain 25% increased attack speed per aura you have. 25% total currently. On the tally of five primary attacks, your next primary attack deals a guaranteed crit. Each point of mana additionally grants 20% more top end damage to mana draining weapons. Um, we're gonna do this. Okay, reward choices include at least one charm, which we have all of the charm spaces open. So we're gonna go charm action. We gotta take we gotta take her down fast. She can get kind of out of control. If, if, if you know, you know, and some of you probably know about how the succubus can be. Oh yeah, that that is. That is exactly what I was hoping for. Oh, let's go grab some more souls. Look at that. Some additional damage. Ooh, look at this. Epic Charm grants plus one maximum companions. Outstanding. Well, we know we're going to go with that already. Okay. I love seeing that. So guess, who, guess who's coming back? It's time for T-Bone Steak action. Although I do like Jar of Goo as well. Can we go ahead and get Jar of Goo out there? All right, we've got the tiger and the goo. Can we get the jellyfish out there? No, all right. So what do we do? Each jellyfish grants 15% increased lightning. Yeah, we probably want the jelly out there since we're doing so much of that type of damage. I'm just curious, though, if we can also put an archer out there with us because they don't weigh that much. Perfect. Now we've got three. Three's a company, folks, right? All right, let's do it. Floor eight, here we go. Still room for level ups as well. Now this is going to be a tough set of rooms. Let me tell you what. Wow. 
Royal Armory contains legendary weapons. This is a very unique room. You do not always find this in a run. Necro Sword, plus two. Attacks per second, four. Weapon range, far. Primary attack deals necrotic damage. Grants a Doppelganger Companion. Doppelganger attacks two and a half times per second dealing. Wow. Holy cow. All right. Might have to go with that. Hyper Beam Staff plus one. So it's a mana weapon, which is interesting. A lot of energy damage. Balrag Wand. Primary attack deals fire damage, and lots of it. And then a bow. Michael Angebo. <laughs> oh boy. That's great. I don't know about you, but I'm really into this. Repeated attacks deal 25% less damage. All necrotic damage inflicts necrosis. Necrosis is a necrotic damage over time ailment that deals 50% of necrotic infliction damage as necrotic damage two times per second for eight seconds. I mean, you got all that, right? That's a mouthful, folks. That is, uh, that's a that's a 10th grade math problem, all right? I'm just gonna say it. Uh, we're gonna go Necro Sword. It's a two-hander, so we're gonna lose that, but I'm, I'm not too worried about that. All right, let's pop this bad boy on. Let's just see what we're working with here. It says, yeah, let's let, let's put it up there. Okay. We're gonna give this a try. We have a doppelganger out there now. You see this? This is great. All right, let's go for it. Uh, yep. Yep, I like it. We're gonna go with the booze. Yep, I am a tremendous fan of what is happening right now. Uh, we can't drink too much. You can only get as many hearts, as many stacks of tipsiness as you have hearts. Oh, dang it. We need one more bomb. Grants plus two soul hearts when bombed. Doggone it. I don't want to get cursed, so... We're just going to go ahead and waste the bomb. It's too bad enemies never drop bombs, as far as I'm aware. Ugh, I want that so badly. That's all right, that's okay. Ooh, we do need something. Okay, let's get a little bit of tink, 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 and we're gonna go ahead and go for this chocolate here. Okay, tremendous. Up. Oh. oh, it's getting wild out here. Okay, reward choices include at least one charm. I mean, we could absolutely go for another charm, for sure. Look at this thing. It looks like it's something out of Isaac, doesn't it? The Abomination. Really and truly. No more pain, no more you, you die. Oh man, that doppelganger. Really putting in the work. Well, let's see what we get, folks. A couple charms dropped. Grants plus one to lightning weapon. Well, hmm. Definitely not a lightning weapon. Each point of strength additionally grants two and a half percent increased top end damage. That's interesting. Grants 10% increased damage dealt to bosses. 
Well, I happen to know of a difficult boss that's going to be coming up. And so I think that is going to be the one that we're going to go for in absence of a lightning weapon. I think it makes most sense to go that way. Now let's proceed. Let's do it. The Fortress of Death. Okay. Oh, this is this is where. Yep. Now it it's gonna it's gonna turn into a little bit of a beamathon. I'm here for it. We can do it. We can do it. I'm just gonna focus up and take it straight to Beam Town. Right after this level up. Cast on crit. Critical hits with melee and ranged attacks trigger the attack of a non-channeling magic weapon in your first inventory slot. Okay. Each point of intelligence additionally grants plus 2.5% increased effective buffs and 2.5% increased aura radius. Oh, only 87.5% total currently. Okay, well, I, I think we just made our decision. After standing still for half a second, mark the healthiest enemy in the room with Hunter's Mark. Yeah, I think we're going to go dominance at this point. Look at the expansion of that ring. Holy cow. Everybody's invited. All right, Grant's two bombs. Yeah, I think we're just going to go intel. Keep building that up. Because why not, right? Oh, it's getting beamy. All right, sell weapons and equipment. We are down to one stack of tipsiness, and so let's get after it. Let's chase that tipsiness for an additional percentage toward our damage. We're gonna go pawn shop, but I really don't have anything to give up here. Um, you know, you just never know. We could run into an opportunity to have more folks out there with us, right? We'll go to the shop here real quick. Spiked shield. No. I'm picking up a mana star gang full stacks of speed boost. Grant 150% increased stamina recovery. Your companions gain critical hit chance equal to your current total weapon critical chance. Oh man, it's at 46% right now. All right, what would we have to give up? That's the offhand, oh, we can't use an offhand with this weapon. All right, so turns out I don't want any of it. Now, do you go big soul or do you repair the armor? I think we gotta go soul because each one of these is going to give us another 1.5% increased damage for us and our companions. Gotta remember that and piece, which is huge for folks like our doppelganger. We're really out there doing more work than the goat. I'm okay admitting it. I'm still so happy that we found the goat force trait. I... That's been a thing for a while, Ruby Dev. And thank you for putting that in there. That's uh, that's really special. Reward choices are all companion summon items. Reward choices include at least one set and item. Uh, let's do that. Okay. This boss is very positive about uh, things. You've come very far. Count me impressed. But nonetheless, I'm going to wipe you off the map. Yeah, you need to die. Well... Feelings are mutual, sir. Okay, one down. Well, that went okay. That was all right. Good time with that. Now, what do we got here? How about a charm? 
Summons a Mana Worm Companion. Mana Worms attack 1.25 times per second, dealing a lot of magical damage. Each Mana Worm grants plus one Mana Star. Oh, wow. Summons a Leech Companion. Leech attacks 1.25 times per second. Each Leech grants 10% increased damage dealt to health. Wow. Okay, well, I think that... Oh, man, I like this one, too. The Crane grants 25% increased effective status effects applied by... Well, okay. All right. Twist my arm. How much does the paper weigh? You would think not very much, right? I wish there was a way to easily tell how much summon weight we have right now. Let's see. Is it in here somewhere? I've probably scrolled past it three times already. Maybe general? Mm, equip load, encumbered state. I am not seeing it. Okay. Well, then I'm not going to mess with it. But we have lots of these now. And those are allowing us to do additional damage as well. I'm not sure what this is. I'm going to try interacting with it. This grate seems locked for good. What could warrant such heavy reinforcement? Interesting. Okay. So we're going to go into the shadow plants. We'll give that a go. See how that works out. Plus one to highest attribute, or plus two and a half percent crit hit chance. Yeah, we're gonna go with that. Wonderful. Uh, let's go. Oh, I would go attack speed, but no bombs. It's all right. Oh, we're getting a little bit beamy and grabby as well. Both, both of those. Locked chest that contains a weapon or lucky hit chance. Yeah. Thankfully, we don't need a new weapon at this point. We are full up on fantastic weapons. Plus 15 equip load capacity. I wish it affected companions, but it does not. So we're going to go Ambrosia. All right. Holding our own. Lock chest that contains a weapon. Lock chest that contains a set item. I don't think we'll end up needing either, but check it out, right? Uh, okay. Oh, it was that uh, at one point in time we had one of these, didn't we? Wait a second, we still do. <laughs> oh, listen to me. Okay. Grants 100% increased magic find. Well, a little bit late for that, right? Where would this even sit on the accessory? So it would take over this, and I don't want to do that. Yeah, that's not going to be worth it as far as I can tell. By default, each point of mana star grants 40%. Well, wait a second, 40% more damage. Okay, hard to tell without sitting here and uh, pulling out a calculator, probably. Um, I'm just going to stick with what we got. I mean, I'll, I'll grab it. I'll grab it just so we can say we did. Uh, we're going to go crit hit chance. Ah, uh, we took the hit on that one, didn't we? Refills a flask. Well, here. Let's go ahead and use a flask, and then we'll refill a flask. And I know we're going to get hit with a curse of some kind, but that's okay. Yeah, go ahead and refill the flask. Mana drain refund. Interesting. Sure. Oh. Right in the nick of time on that one. One final rest. Okay. 
tune equipped items. Yeah, let's do it. And this is ultimately not really going to matter. I've been waiting. I've been awaiting you, mortal. I've felt your presence inching ever closer. I am Gurion, Draconic Lich, Purveyor of Souls, and High Magistrate of Death. Mortal, your mere heartbeat is an anomaly in this realm of silence. Why have you come? Many have tried to conquer the shadows, only to become one with them. Do you think you are any different? Death's embrace is inevitable, and this time, I am its harbinger. Your journey ends here, in the cold grasp of the void. Well, so be it. It might. It might. This is, uh, this can be a tough battle. We are doing some damage at this point. Love to see it. Your defiance is but a brief spark of light in an endless sea of darkness. Very poetic. You'll become a mere whisper forever lost in eternal silence. The shadows grow denser, the chill more profound. I feel my power surge. Your end is nigh. Yield to the eternal night. Stop resisting. Well... Oh. We'll see about that. Okay, buddy. Just stand there, would you? Just for a little bit longer. Alright, this is uh this is looking pretty good. Folks, it's looking pretty good. Outstanding. All right, flare specs grants 10% increased fire damage. All right. You know, I I am just gonna I'm I'm gonna leave these out of the kindness to my of my heart. I'm gonna leave these for the next adventure. That's how kind of a goat I am. Only a truly lawful being can continue onwards. Where does the allegiance of your soul lie, mortal? Well, to buckets of glorious fried chicken, of course. But those of you that know me best already know that. The scale of death will be the judge of it. Well, I do believe we know what's going to happen here, some of us, don't we? Unworthy, you may not proceed, requires integrity alignment of four, pure lawful. So, if we would have went to those law shops and made, I believe, at least four purchases using our souls, then we would be able to enter in this door. We can't do that. I just wanted to have a fun run and show off the necromancer, and that is exactly what we achieved today. I hope you had a good time with the run and seeing this. This was very, very enjoyable. We're going to go ahead and take a sip. You know, I, I guess, I guess death claimed another, but I feel like a winner. Folks, thank you so much for hanging out. Hope you enjoyed this run as much as I did and if you want to get in on that giveaway be subscribed and leave a comment let us know how you're doing let us know what you're drinking let us know what your favorite game or games were that you played this year god there's been so many good games this year let's do this again sometime shall we we'll uh, get together out on the goat force gaming channel and play a roguelike or a roguelite because that's what we do every time and you know what we'll give away a video game at least once a week too because uh we like doing those and uh we ended up doing that over a hundred times in 2023 can you believe that what a time it's all thanks to you too and your support that's why we're able to do it all right i will bid you adieu you take care out there we'll see you again soon